This is Bumper to Bumper TV. If you're someone who's into EVs, then you know what this is. But what if it's part of this, an early 1980s DeLorean? It isn't a delusion, but it is a functioning electric vehicle converted from its internal combustion engine origins by Ampere EV. Based in a warehouse in Dawsonville, Georgia, Ampere is part of a subset in the shift toward electric mobility. Rather than build a whole vehicle, they supply the parts to convert to battery electric drive systems. Like other firms venturing into the space, its development is driven by people who want to turn the auto industry on its head. You could call it a passion. You could also call it an obsession. And you may be pushing addiction at that point. It's a problem for me. Uh, it's something that if I get it in my head, and, and I want to make it happen, I will pound the living hell out of that square peg to get it through that round hole. What Ampere and others in the EV world are doing is to create a niche market for conversions using some off-the-shelf parts or designing other components on their own. For Ampere, the mission was to create a unique battery configuration with an emphasis on temperature maintenance. So it has flow channels inside of it that keep the temperature across the plate even. Uh, and that's so we can both heat and cool the batteries. Uh, depending on if it's cold outside, you would be heating them. Mm -hmm. uh, and if it's hot outside, you'd be cooling them to keep them about room temperature. Because uh, batteries have a very narrow temperature range that they like to operate in for the best performance. Match those batteries to existing electric motors and the system can be installed in nearly any existing auto frame. Since this can be a sizable investment, Conversion also requires updated technology. That's standard equipment on most new vehicles on the road these days. We know we need, need a BMS. We know we need uh, a, a VCU. We know we need a cooling system. We know we need a heater. We know that customers are going to want high voltage air conditioning. We need electric power steering. Well, it looks like a 1980s DeLorean. It drives just like a brand new electric car. But for drivers who want to keep their classic car on the road or small fleet operators considering a switch to EV power systems, conversion of an existing vehicle might be a concept worth considering while keeping an old favorite rolling for a few more years. I'm Greg Morrison.